Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video this evening. I hope that you have been enjoying your day. And as forecast, there is some flooding across some areas, uh, parts of Jamaica, there has been some flooding and the heavy rainfall is not over uh, quite yet. There's likely to be more heavy rain through the rest of today as well as into tomorrow, especially for Eastern parishes. And in regards to the system on a whole, I want to get into some new information this afternoon. Some watches have been posted for some areas, tropical storm watches. So we're going to get into that. And we're also going to be talking about what's going on down in the Southeast Caribbean. Some periods of heavy rain have been taking place across sections of those islands and also across parts of Cuba and the Bahamas and even sections of Florida as well. So we're going to get into all of that in this evening's update. All right, guys, so we now have potential tropical cyclone 22. Now, it is given that designation because it has the chance to develop into, tropi uh, into a tropical cyclone, a tropical depression or tropical storm but it has not yet done so if it even will do so and it is inducing those dangerous impacts and it is a threat to other areas as well so as we take a look at the satellite imagery here we can see that across the caribbean there is a lot of moisture and uh, a lot of shower activity for some areas as well as i said earlier down in the southeast as zoom into the area there we can see a lot of activity so for parts of martinique saint lucia earlier in uh, saint vincent the grenadines and even right now for the Grenada as of when I'm recording there is some shower activity similar story for Trinidad there has been some showers across parts of Barbados as well as Tobago and going down into sections of uh, northern South America going to portions of Colombia and even in eastern Venezuela Guyana and even into uh, Suriname and French Guiana as well there is some activity moving through much not happening right now for the ABC islands and uh, let's go ahead and drift a bit further to the west so let's return here and we can see that for uh, uh, the leeward islands as well as puerto rico the virgin islands and even into hispaniola much is not going on right now maybe a bit of shower activity into portions of southern haiti but much isn't happening just yet these areas though cuba again jamaica that has already begun and a lot of that heavy rainfall is already moving into cuba but for the bahamas and turks and caicos islands there is going to be a lot of heavy rainfall from this system there has already been a lot of heavy rain associated with an area of low pressure that has formed offshore off florida so that system has induced a lot of flooding tropical storm or hurricane like conditions across sections of florida and there is that area of low pressure that is just churning right there you can see that uh, counterclockwise pin in the gulf of mexico that will soon dissipate now let's head on to the latest from the national hurricane center in regards to our potential tropical cyclones so it was previously known as invest 98l so now it has uh, been given the designation potential tropical cyclone 22 and so guys here is the latest from the national hurricane center so there is now a tropical storm watch in effect from multiple areas, the southern Bahamas, the Turks and Caicos Islands, eastern Cuba, the entirety of Jamaica, and the entirety of Haiti. So tropical storm conditions are possible within 48 hours. And for areas such as Jamaica, this watch may eventually be upgraded to a warning as we head into tomorrow because the system is actually expected to strengthen into a tropical storm here. But as of right now, it is sustaining maximum winds of 35 miles per hour and moving to the north-northeast at 9 miles per hour. So tomorrow it will be crossing the center of the system. It's going to be crossing over Jamaica and uh, eventually into eastern Cuba and through the vicinity of the southern Bahamas as we head into this weekend on Saturday. So dangerous conditions, mostly in terms of that heavy rainfall, will be continuing for Jamaica. Matter of fact, here are some videos that show the devastation in terms of the flooding across portions of Jamaica. I believe this is St. Thomas. So uh, there has been all of that flooding and uh, that is going uh, that is going to be the case as well for Cuba if it is not already the case uh, for some areas. So for Cuba and even for Haiti, some periods of heavy rainfall will be possible. So many areas are vulnerable to flooding there as well as the southern Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands. But eventually the system should make its way out as we head into Sunday. We see it's going to be uh, quickly picking up in its acceleration to the northeast as it gets attached to a front so that is what is going on with the system this afternoon guys that tropical storm watch in effect for uh, much of the greater antilles this evening 
and taking a look at some model data now so you're still going to be seeing invest 98l don't mind that but going on to the track guidance we can see that these tracks are pretty much solid with that northeastward movement and notice how compact and consistent they are with that motion out to the northeast so this general area here is going to be experiencing more of those rough seas as well so should this system actually gain some strength in terms of its sustained winds then that is going to make conditions a bit more dangerous across coastal uh immediate coastal areas there could be some coastal flooding induced uh by those winds pushing those waves on shore so those waves could become pretty rough out there and that is dangerous in regards to marine interests now going on to the intensity guidance we can see that models are expecting a tropical storm out of the system it is certainly possible it has a wind off opportunity to do so uh, to strengthen into a tropical storm and a few are expecting a hurricane which i'm not expecting so i think at the most we'll see a weak tropical storm and the next name on the list is vince but regardless of it becoming a tropical storm or not uh, there is still going to be a lot of that heavy rainfall activity across the aforementioned areas those gusty winds as well and those pretty rough seas so please continue to stay safe guys as you head through uh, the rest of the week now as it relates to the conditions out ahead of the system we know that the waters are very warm already so in terms of the wind shear when we see those green lines that is representing uh, favorable conditions in terms of the shear meaning that those upper level winds aren't too strong to interfere too much with development but across much of the Caribbean we're seeing that the shear is not favorable but there's that little pocket where that disturbance is located so it may try to make a run for tropicals, uh, tropical cyclone status may be becoming tropical depression 22 or tropical storm vents who knows but regardless of that does not really matter at this point because of the impacts uh the continuous impacts that will be unleashed uh, through the because of uh, more impacts expected from the system, a lot more heavy rain for portions of Jamaica, Cuba, and even over into parts of Haiti and the Dominican Republic, the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, they're likely to, uh, there's likely to be a lot more heavy rainfall activity as we head into this weekend. So guys, that is what I wanted to share with you in this update video this evening, and I hope you found it to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, as always, please do leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so, and remember to all Always be weather wise.